I'm quite the Christian Prince fan, you know? So much so that I'm going to break it up and make it into, make up his videos that are downloadable. Because they're too long to mirror. Uh, <laughs> I mean, seven hours? Come on. So anyway, I thought I'd uh, make them into 10 minute intervals. All right. Hmm. Oh, I need to turn this on. There's people, they take them to uh, a dinner, a party, even if you take them to heaven, they will complain. They are unhappy. They cannot be happy. This is the whole idea. But don't try it. I will never be happy. And because they are unhappy, they have to blame everything around them for whatever happened to them, as if they are not part of this world. He complain about garbage in front of his house, but he don't clean in front of his house. And he himself he throw garbage. Do something, fix it. Do your part. Where's your part? See, we say Islam is a filthy religion, bad religion. But we don't complain. We work for, for fixing this issue. Complain will not make a difference. You make a complaint, Especially, you are not speaking to the one who have authority to fix anything. You are talking to yourself. You have to make a difference. Do we have any uh, any brave Muslim here? Do we have any brave Muslim here? Would like to come to the mic? Who is a Muslim would like, would like to come to the mic and introduce to us his religion? You know, I, I accuse Muslims that they do not know what Islam is about. And I can prove that very easy. I never saw a Muslim who know what Islam is about and what Allah is about. And when I say never, I mean what I say. And today we are going to prove that. So let us see if we will get any Muslim. He will come. Let us let us make it more clear. Uh, let us see if we can see a Muslim who dare to debate me, and he is not very much worried like Shabir Ali. You know Shabir Ali. Hmm. People ask him to debate me over and over and over, and he says, maybe in the future, uh, you know. Uh, <coughs> Do Shabir Ali knows who is Allah? No. Do the top scholar in Islam knows who is Allah? No. Do Muhammad even know who is Allah? No. That's the truth. Those Muslims, they want to invite you to Islam, but none of them knows who is Allah and what is Islam. Isn't it amazing? They insist, they fight for it. They are crazy to invite you to Islam. You, they, they spend money to make you convert. They pay you even to convert, but yet they do not know. They are asking you to convert to what? It's kind of madness. At least tell me who is your God. If you ask a Muslim, who is Allah? He will say to you, the one who created you, brother. What? 
What do you mean the one who created me? How you get that? Where you get this from? How you know he is the one who created me? Same time, if this is what he do, who is he still? Like, if you ask you what your dad do for a living, you say he's a cook. Well, this is he is a cook, but this is not who is he. Who is he? I'm not asking you what he do for a living. Who is your God, Allah? Do you know him? Imagine the God of Islam, he never even spoke to Muhammad. Not even once. Muhammad never met him, never heard his voice, never spoke to him, never received anything from him. And then, yes, yet, yet Muhammad himself, he did not know who is Allah. Muhammad, he inherited the name from previous religions exist before Islam, people who worship Allah. It was an inheritance, but yet he did not know who is Allah. today we can prove that to you easy if any Muslim here he would like to come to the mic please feel free and you will you will see by yourself that they don't know you know I remember once I went to a, to a Spanish uh, Mexican restaurant and this is how I feel when I speak to Muslims. It's what happened to me in that Spanish restaurant. The lady behind the counter, she don't speak English. And she have a menu behind her, her pictures. I like, I like Mexican food actually, you know, it's close to our Middle Eastern food. So she was saying things to me like, well, I don't know what she's saying. And I say, okay, okay. I thought she is adding spices, I don't know. Okay. Then I went and sat in the table, and then a guy with big tray and big hat come in, and he, he put the big tray next to my table, and he started putting dishes. Like, there's 12, 13 dish. What is that? I told him, hey, hey, this is not me, you know? He said, so, senor, 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 you know, you, you, senor. Like, what? What? I'm just alone. Anyway, people, they translate to me, they said to me, she was asking you, do you want this dish and this dish? And you were saying yes. I was saying, okay. <laughs> True, I was saying, okay, but I never thought she's asking me for more dishes. I thought she's asking me for adding, like, spice. I don't know what she's saying. I, okay, I, because I point my finger at the dish, I said, this dish. And then she's saying, and I, say, and I say, okay. And I, since then, I learned not to say okay about the language. I don't understand. Never, never say that. Then you have to pay the bill. And then you have to eat the food. And I start calling everybody. Suddenly, I became very, very, very generous. I want to invite everybody to eat with me. I called everyone. Hey, oh, come over. Uh, I'm inviting you for a lunch. Really? What's up? <laughs> okay. <laughs> And this is exactly the situation with the Abdul. There's a guy behind the counter, but he, he is unseen. All right? And there's a guy behind the counter, which is the kitchen, and he is unseen too. And the one behind the counter, supposedly, is Jibreel. And the one who was talking to him, it was Muhammad. And Muhammad don't understand Jibreel, and he keeps saying to him, okay. And then Jibreel, he delivered to him what Muhammad don't understand, how this happened. Muhammad, he have no idea what those dishes for. This is why if you ask Muhammad about any verse in the Quran, you will see Muhammad, he says, only Allah knows. What? Only Allah knows? So who are you? This will be continued.